We're taking you to paradise this morning. Now we are taking you to one of our favorite Italian restaurants here in the Bay Area. And uh, it, it's been a little while since we've checked in with him and his family. Uh, so happy to welcome back Gino from Donatello's this morning. He's got a special guest with him this morning, one of his sons. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Carly. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, this is my, uh, my son, Piano. He's 11, and he's playing hooky from school this morning to be on the show with me. I like it. There's lessons in TV. It, this is a lesson as well. This is school. But I want to hear from you and see how uh, the restaurant industry is doing from your perspective and certainly how Donatello's is doing from your perspective. It has been a year. It's been a while since we've had a chance to check in with you. But from what I understand, things are still going very well. And I know you uh, come to us this morning with a very thankful heart. Oh, 100%, Carly. We've been uh, super lucky and just fortunate to be in Tampa, to be in Florida. Uh, the support that we've gotten from the community in the last year is amazing. The last time we spoke was almost exactly a year ago. And uh, if you had told me then that we'd be in this position now, I would not have believed it. Um, we've been super busy uh, having record months even prior to, uh, to the corona uh, epidemic and uh couldn't be happier with uh with the community support with the growth of the city with the growth of the state with the performance of our team um all of the above uh business has been phenomenal and um and we've just been uh super fortunate our entertainment and lounge have been booming out on weekends we have three-piece bands in and people really uh, are enjoying that. There's not many places where you can go and dance and have dinner and then move over to a different entertaining lounge situation uh, in our full bar. And uh, <laughs> just uh, been super, super lucky and working hard uh, and have been able to get through this year in a phenomenal fashion. Do you think this will change? I mean, just like with healthcare and different things. I mean, what has it done to your restaurant? Do you think it'll change how you guys operate in the future too? I mean, if is it kind of made you look at how things were operating and going, okay, what can we do better? Well, I think uh, in in our case and in probably most cases of people that have um, made it through this uh, this past year, it's helped us really uh, trim a little bit of the fat. For not to be a cliche, but. Uh, that's really what it is. Be uh, a little bit more cautious. And obviously, um, a year ago, not being able to predict and have that confidence in what was coming to forward for us, uh, we had to really be careful, cautious, um, smarter with, with uh, all aspects of the business. Um, and uh, that's definitely going to carry forward and help us in the, it's been a learning process. Uh, we had to adapt and uh, kind of alter what we did for a little while when we had to shut down and in the slow reopening at uh, different percentages um, of occupancy. And uh, all of that helps us move forward as smarter business people, better operators, and so on. We've also um, been cautious and fortunate with uh, safety for our staff and our customers and uh, been very lucky with that. We've had very few isolated cases amongst the staff of, uh, of Corona. And moving forward now, we're uh, probably about half of our staff has been vaccinated and uh, moving forward to everybody having the vaccine um, and allowing us to kind of um, uh, move past this stage, still always being careful, especially even after we've all been vaccinated uh, for the safety of our um, of our customers as well. Yeah, I'm glad you brought your son with you this morning because one of the points I wanted to bring up uh, with you is how important it is to support local businesses and uh, certainly local restaurants. And uh, it's always been a family uh, to you. I know that you treat customers, you know, that come in and, and dine as family as well. But it really is a family uh, to you behind the yes, restaurant. I, uh, I'm here more than at home. My son's here with me a lot also. Um, you know, I'm going to put him to work today. Today's uh, most of our deliveries come in, so he'll help me stock shelves, uh, move product, and uh, well, I guess maybe we'll get him to school after lunchtime. Uh, 
you had an interesting lunch at school yesterday. You want to tell them about your lunch yesterday? <laughs> yeah, so I uh, brought some, like, a half a loaf of bread and some parmesan <laughs> olives to school. And there, were a couple, lunch. there were a few roses in the bag. <laughs> and my friend took the roses and just handed them out to, like, a bunch of people all around the cafeteria. And by the end of lunch, I was walking out, and there was rose petals scattered all over the <laughs> during the rest of the school day walking around with roses in their ears <laughs> i would expect nothing less from your son and certainly uh, the traditions he does that in the studio with us too <laughs> right. guys yeah. so good to see you and uh i know that this has been a crazy year but uh, you guys have done a phenomenal job in being able to stay open and do it safely and uh, just provide that entertainment and delicious food that people have been looking for Thanks. so you guys take care we look forward to having you in studio soon okay I have to say that i can't wait to be able to come in and uh, cook for you again and of course you're always welcome to come in the restaurant and i'd love to see you all right sounds good guys take care okay Get it. Have a good day.